Hello, my name is Claudia Vasquez. Welcome to my reaction videos. Today, I'm gonna uh, react to a video that they sent me about uh, Fluffy. Um, his name is Gabriel Iglesias, and he uh, is uh, showing me a video on how to tell Latinos apart. So I haven't seen it. So let's uh, check it out, okay? How many Latinos in the crowd tonight? <laughs> now, notice I asked Latinos. I wasn't very specific. Because if you call a Latino the wrong one, there's an issue. You call a Mexican, a Salvadorian, we get mad. You call a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, they get mad. You call a Cuban, anything but a Cuban, you're going to get stabbed. <laughs> So for everyone here and everyone at home, I have found a way to figure out who's who. It's very easy. All you have to do is listen to the way the person is speaking Spanish. You don't have to understand a single word, just listen to the flow, that'll let you know. For example, Mexicans, when we speak Spanish, we sound high. Seriously, you ask us a question, we drag it out. Hey bro, how's it going? <laughs> You know, Cubans, I found out Cubans, you guys speak Spanish, like everything means something, it's very serious. You ask a Cuban a question, bro, where you going? Al baño, coño, carajo, why you wanna know? <laughs> Just asking, dude. <laughs> it's like, why is he yelling? I don't know, I don't know. That's true, that's true. I um, I had a hard time um, when I uh, first met uh, Ohani Noah, he's Cuban, and he speaks like that, and it was just wild, he was, Super fast, and I was like, slow down, what? Yeah. Since you guys speak Spanish, like there's a time limit. <laughs> Ask a question, hey bro, what's up? Oh, bro, el otro día estaba con Hitcher, me estaba platicando que chacha vinito, quiero hacer lo que está pasando aquí, no más podría. Dame más gasolina! Just, <laughs> fast. Even Mexicans were like, hey, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Another way is the beverage. The beverage will let you know who you're dealing with. For example, a Mexican's preferred drink of choice is tequila, okay? A Puerto Rican's preferred drink of choice is either donku or coquito, right? And a Cuban's preferred drink of choice is coffee. Now let me tell you how I know about this one. So a few years ago, so Martina and I were doing a show at the Improv in Miami, and after the show was over, I was talking to Martina, I said, hey, bro, see, we gotta try out some of this Cuban food everybody's been talking about, it's our first time here. And so we go outside to catch a cab, and when we got in the car, uh, I figured something out, and that is that uh, Cubans come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you go from really, really white all the way to freaking navy black, just hardcore, <laughs> Wesley Snipes, just dark, scudo. <laughs> El negro! Hardcore, you know what I mean? I didn't know that there was such a thing as a black Cuban because we get in the car and we're speaking Spanish and this guy turns around and he's black and he's like, Donde quieren ir? Why you wanna go? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it freaked me out. I thought the partition was tinted. <laughs> I didn't know. So he's yelling at it. Donde quieren ir? I'm like, dude, uh, <laughs> why is he yelling? <laughs> I said, listen, we, uh, we want to go somewhere to get some authentic Cuban food. Where can we go? And then he takes us to this place called Calle Ocho, which for everyone at home, Calle Ocho is uh, Spanish for 8th Street, and it's an area where, you know, it's very authentic. And um, he takes us to this restaurant called La Carreta, okay? So uh, you can't miss it. There's a restaurant on the corner with a giant wagon wheel in front of it and a huge rooster. I don't know what the rooster does, but look out for him. <laughs> we walk inside and I think, what was it, Martin? Like two or three o'clock in the morning when we went in? Easy three in the morning. Easy three o'clock in the morning. We sit down at this table and we're looking at the menu. We're trying to figure it out. And there's all kinds of bananas and all kinds of weird stuff. that I'm like, I didn't know that. Sir. Okay, bananas, fine. Okay, let's do this. Um, and here comes the waiter and the waiter's coming over and he gets in my face and he's like, ¿Qué tú quieres? And I'm like, I forgot. In Los Angeles, there's another uh, carreta too. Um, in the corner, you find the big wheel. Down in downtown LA, well, it's close to the airport. But let's continue watching. You know, a little bit longer. I think we need some time, right? Yeah, we were like, yeah, we need some more time. And I says, uh, for right now, can I just get a coffee? 
And he's like, oh, okay, un cafecito. And he walks into the kitchen. He comes back five minutes later, seriously, with a little coaster and a shot glass of coffee on the coaster. And he puts it down in front of me and he's like, okay. And I'm like, what is this? Es un cafecito. I go, dude, look at me. I'm not a ito, I'm a ande. And then I started thinking, maybe he knows who I am. I get the joke, bring the really big guy, the really little cup, you know what I mean? And I said, bro, what is it? I go, no, 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 no. I'll bring me a full-size cup of coffee. Take this back in the, I was frustrated. So the guy's like, okay, and what you want? Okay. So he grabs it, all pissed off, and then he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking trash to one of the cooks. He's like, Manolo. And then he comes back with a bowl of Cuban coffee, okay? And he puts it down in front of me and he won't leave the table. He's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants me to make sure this is what I want, you know, what I want, right? So I pick up the bowl and I take a little sip of it. And when the coffee hit my tongue, I was like, oh my God, this is the most concentrated coffee I've ever had. <laughs> it was really, really strong. And then it clicked. That's why they bring you a little shot glass of this stuff. So now I don't want to look stupid making him take a bowl of coffee back in the kitchen. So I picked it up to my face again and I drank the whole thing. I wait well for done. I knew I messed up, bro. I knew I messed up because a waiter looked at me and he's like, vaya con Dios. <laughs> he goes back in the kitchen, he's like, Manolo, call 911. <laughs> 10 minutes go by, you guys. I am so wired. That coffee is strong. That is the only way in the world Cubans can make that swim. <laughs> oh my God. It's, oh my God. Okay, that's the end of the video. That was a very strong close. So, um, that's a shot of, uh, of coffee. So it's one of the strongest coffees in the world. So he got super wired, no? And it's funny, but you know, the clothes, the closing, the, you know, saying that that's the only way they can swim from Cuba to uh, Florida, it's kind of a strong closing. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's funny. And it's true, like, you know, we all uh, speak differently. Although not all Mexicans speak like that, or Mexican and I don't talk like that. I. I think I speak speak more neutral, but yeah, we all have accents, so it's funny. I mean, I I laugh a lot. <laughs> so uh, this is my reaction uh, video for today. I'll see you next time. Um, don't forget to subscribe, uh, give me some likes, and send me your videos that you wanna you want me to react to. So I'll see you next time. Besos. <laughs>